you may have noticed that many cargo aircraft are older planes that have been long out of commercial passenger usage, just like the Airbus A300. Others are new aircraft from production lines that no longer offer passenger versions, such as the Boeing 767. But why do cargo carriers prefer older planes? Well, let's find out. You may be surprised to learn that many of the world's biggest cargo airlines, such as FedEx, UPS, DHL and more, operate incredibly old fleets. Here are some example fleet average ages. FedEx Express, 20.7 years. They operate everything from Airbus A300 to custom MD-10s. UPS Airlines, 19.8 years. Operating A300s to Boeing 747s. DHL Aviation, 22.3 years. A diverse group of airlines with some branches operating a fleet age of 35 plus years. Cargolux, 10.8 years, an all Boeing 747 cargo carrier with a much smaller Italian branch operating an average fleet age of 15 plus years. Atlas Air, 23.3 years, 50% of its fleet is nearing 30 years old. Compared to this, passenger airlines have much younger fleets. Emirates, 7.1 years. Qantas, 11.5 years. Regional aircraft bump up the average age, but may be replaced by Airbus A220s. Singapore Airlines, 6.6 years. British Airways, 13.6 years, with older Boeing 777s pushing up the numbers. American Airlines, 11.3 years with Airbus A320s and Boeing 757s pushing up the average age again. And Starlux, which is fairly new airline, four months. More complicated than it seems. At first, the answer may seem logical. Older aircraft are cheaper for cargo carriers to buy. But then why don't passenger airlines buy them as well? Why do passenger airlines seek out new fuel-efficient aircraft like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350? These older aircraft may cost more in maintenance, especially when considering the lack of spare parts and have a comparably mediocre fuel economy. If an aircraft is grounded, it may cost a cargo company far more than a passenger airline. A small Boeing 77 might only have up to 189 disgruntled passengers, but a cargo configured Boeing 727 may have thousands of freight customers annoyed when a delay hits their packages. Why do cargo airlines fly older aircraft in the first place? Well, first, these aircraft are obviously cheaper to buy. Less capital expenditure allows the carrier to expand the fleet fast and turn to a profit quicker. If a plane costs less up front, then the cargo carriers don't mind spending more maintaining them. Cargo airlines make the aircraft last longer than passenger airlines. Thanks to their unique pattern of use. This is because a cargo aircraft tends to fly less frequently than a passenger aircraft does. For example, United might fly a single Boeing 737 six to eight times in a day. But FedEx will only operate four to six daily flights with the same aircraft type. Cargo carriers prefer to deploy aircraft to ship cargo over long flights as it is cheaper for shorter routes to use a truck or train. Passengers, on the other hand, can't be in inverted commas shipped overnight and demand to fly short routes as quickly as possible. For takeoffs and landings, which are pressurization cycles with passenger aircraft, results in more wear and tear and thus a shorter lifespan. Cargo aircraft generally fly much longer routes and therefore last far longer over the lifetime of the plane. Originally, 
when cargo airlines exploded onto the scene in the 1970s, there was not enough capacity to build cargo freighters at Boeing and Airbus. FedEx and other airlines had to turn on the second-hand market to fill their appetite for aircraft, although in recent years that has changed as airframe builders boost older lines with cargo orders, such as the Boeing 767. Cargo airlines do join the queue to get new cargo aircraft, just like the Boeing 777 freighter. However, in a world where they need to compete not with only other cargo airlines, but with passenger airlines, who also dip their toes into the air cargo space, rapid fleet expansion and lower accusation costs of older aircraft prove to be appealing motivators. And now, on the other hand, why do passenger airlines fly newer aircraft? You might have thought if there were these advantages with cargo airlines using older aircraft, then why don't passenger airlines use older aircraft too? Put it simply, passengers love newer planes. Many of the passenger carriers we listed above were flagship premium airlines that offer some of the best experiences in the sky. They want to reflect that, and part of their branding is to have the most up-to-date modern aircraft. Additionally, what wears out more? The well-trodden plush interior of the aircraft or the hard exterior of the airframe? The inside of a plane breaks down far quicker, especially with so many passengers, than the exterior. Passenger airlines then have to choose to renovate an old plane or just upgrade to a new one. A new shiny one that will give an overedge over all of the competition. In the end, nearly every cargo carrier would love to have a fleet of fuel-saving Boeing 787s to fly cargo flights. But they are too expensive to buy, the queue is too long, and they will have too many extra bills and whistles that cargo airlines just don't need. So what do you think? Should cargo carriers have a go and operate new aircraft? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. But that is all for today. So if you're new around here, do subscribe if you like this sort of content, as this helps me and the channel massively. Also, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed and learned something today. So, until next time, keep your eyes on the sky. Oh,